Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with WBZ News Update. Our top stories, towns along the Massachusetts coast are bracing for the potential impacts of Hurricane Lee. Some residents we spoke with in Marshfield say they're getting away from the water. Boat owners are getting their vessels out. Officials in Sandwich say they're most concerned with rain, storm surge, flooding and wind. Utility crews are also on standby for downed power lines or trees. The first day on the job and National Guard members helping with a fire at a local motel housing migrant families. The fire started at the Red Roof Inn in Sutton. Officials say it started in a kitchen in a room on the second floor. The guardsmen jumped into action, putting out the flames and getting people out safely. The fire chief says he has warned officials that that motel is not suitable for families. He says the families can stay at the motel as long as the alarm system is fixed. The one chip challenge causing more problems after being pulled from some store shelves. 10 seventh graders in Holliston were sent home from the middle school Monday and were urged to go to the emergency room after trying the incredibly spicy tortilla chip. This comes just a few weeks after a teenager in Worcester died after taking part in the challenge. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Good morning, Liam, and all eyes should be on Hurricane Lee, but we're still reeling from the effects that we had with the strong thunderstorms last night. And of course, if September wasn't busy enough, we had some tornado warnings popping up on Wednesday afternoon and evening. And whenever we get a rain event, it's not in the little inches possibility. We're talking serious values, three, five, even seven recorded from eastern Connecticut into northern Rhode Island. We were clipping more of that three to four potential in pockets of Norfolk County, but today, is the relief that we deserve. Mostly sunny skies taking hold, a breeze coming out of the northwest, and that's going to drop humidity values. Dry air will prevail and will land into the mid 70s this afternoon. An additional day of that on Friday. The difference tomorrow is we're increasing the cloud cover, so it is more of that milky sky as we go into the afternoon hours before introducing the effects of Hurricane Lee, which will be dropping off in its intensity over about a 24 hour period. So we're introducing the rain by the mid and outer cape in Nantucket, a little bit closer to the midnight hour. You notice the yellows, oranges, and reds, the downpours lining up farther offshore. So rain is one component. I don't think it's going to be the main driver here. It's probably more of the wind potential as the system is going to be expanding over the course of time. So by Saturday morning, we're already dealing with tropical storm force winds anywhere from about 60 to 70 miles per hour for the outer Cape and Nantucket. Lower values as we go off to the north and west, but even 25 to 35 miles per hour, maybe bringing down some power lines due to the weakened branches and trees saturated ground not helping the cause here high tide lining up in the early afternoon noon to one o'clock is going to be the worst of it for some coastal erosion there may be the potential for some inundation but light inundation at that and we'll look towards cape cod bay and nantucket as a northwesterly flow is going to be arriving so for the north and the south shore not as much of a component but still huge wave heights to go along with the first half of the weekend there is some improvement in sight and it's not going to take all that long by sunday we're back into the sunshine thankfully the storm is out of our midst and we're near 80 degrees. The Patriots game is looking up to Liam. A little bit of rain for early next week. All right, Zach, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.